Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and it is very hot. <sighs> if you're new to my channel, or if you've not seen this series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list, or if everything's a total washout. Um, I am sure my fellow spoopy lovers out there are also suffering. As someone who wears majority black and hates the heat, just... I, I'm ready. I was ready for summer to be over before summer even started, but like now, I, ugh, I'm melting. Actually melting. One good thing though, uh, we're finally, so we live in a one bedroom apartment and the living room slash kind of dining room area is huge. So we, we made that our bedroom and the one bedroom that I'm in right now is my office because I work from home full time. And this room we didn't actually have an AC unit for. We only have a window AC for the bedroom, which perfectly cools down the rest of the apartment, but not this room. Uh, so outside of just filming it does get hot in here and I work in here all day um, but since we know we're gonna stay in this apartment for at least one more year and I just got the permanent work from home orders from work uh, we just bought a new AC unit for the window that's right here and I am so excited I cannot wait to be chilly not even just chilly just like comfortable again <laughs> uh, I hate the summer so before we jump into all the new products, I have three new updates that I wanted to share outside of the recent kind of haul video that I posted. I did a little uh, haul, some PR, some purchase things. I'll throw it up in the cards if you missed it. Um, but outside of that, I did just go to CVS the other day and I picked up three foundations that I want to share with you guys. The first I talked about maybe or maybe not picking this up, but curiosity got the better of me. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Foundation. I adore, let me pull it out, the concealer. I go through these every summer. They're my one of my favorite summer foundation or summer concealers. So I wanted to see if the summer or the foundation would be just as good in the summer. So I'm going to be testing this out, though it does look pretty dark for me. So I don't know if that's, this is the lightest shade I could find. This is shade, what shade are you? This is shade 120. Next, another new one that I really wanted to try. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. So this is also the lightest, not the lightest shade actually. This is shade 118. Um, I was in the Walgreens and actually the majority of these were sold out. So this is the lightest shade that was in stock. But looking at my neck and my chest, I think this will work. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And last but not least, I am just curious to like retry products that didn't work for me in the past and see if I still hate them or if they're any better for my skin and me now. So I picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I previously tried this foundation out and hated it. It did not work for me. It clung to my dry patches. It didn't stay up in my oily areas. It just looked terrible. And also the shade range wasn't that great. Um, so I picked this up because I want to try it again. So we'll see how it goes. I picked up the shade 00 Light Natural, which I believe is the lightest shade, which, ooh, that's dark. Yeah, that's dark. So I'm going to have to lighten this. I think I still have my white mixer in my foundation drawer, uh, but I'm really curious. I just want to try this again and see how it works. So those are all of my updates. Let me go ahead and take a quick fan break while we pull up Trend Mood. So the first post that I'm seeing that's new to me is a new translucent powder from Laura Mercier, which I actually just panned. A Laura Mercier powder. I talked about it in my empties video. If you miss it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But this seems to be a new translucent loose setting powder in Light Catcher. This light creating setting powder with 12 hour pore blurring, skin smoothing, and no photo flashback. So it seems to be the same price. It comes in three shades fair to light, medium with olive and golden undertones, then medium to deep. And I guess honestly, it looks like the loose powder, but it has like highlighter in it. I'm kind of curious. I know I just went through a Laura Mercier powder and I don't tend to buy them that often because they're expensive as you can see, but I'm curious. So let me know, would you guys be interested in maybe not a full review video, but like a review and a review roundup from this product? Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a liquid highlighter. It's called the Sex Foil Liquid Highlighter. Let's see, they are $39 each. Ooh, that's expensive. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan of liquid highlighter. I'll take liquid over cream highlighter, but still, like my favorite highlighter is still a good powder highlighter. So I wouldn't be spending that amount of money on these. Um, it's got seven shades, decent shade range, but I don't know. I just I feel like it's not something that I am super interested in, especially like I know people like to use liquid highlighters in the summer, but as someone who strictly stays indoors wearing all black all summer, I'm, n I'm not the target demographic here. <laughs> Now wait, I, I want there to be Halloween releases this year. That I will be the target demographic for. 
Clearly. Oh, it's actually not as expensive as I thought it would be. All right, so Dior came out with a highlighter. Um, I actually do have a Dior highlighter, and I kind of hate it, but I do like it. And I do have pan in it, so at least I got use out of it. Uh, but these are the new Dior Forever Couture Luminizers. They are $48 each, which to me, for Dior, I think that's kind of reasonable. I could see Dior coming out with like more expensive highlighters, so at least, yeah, kind of, sort of, maybe. Um, they got an eh shade range. I'll just leave it at that. There's only one, two, three. There's only six shades. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but since I do have a Dior highlighter and I haven't really used it much since I hit pan, I'm not going to be buying these. Oh, I can smell the meat. Just before I started filming, I had to get, because um, I forgot it takes an hour to cook. We have a pot roast I'm making for dinner tonight. And then I was about to start filming this and I was like, well, shit, it has to cook for an hour. And anyway, my poor planning aside, it smells really good now. <laughs> I guess this looks like an older product that has just been brought back by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow, where it looks like it's just a single shade, I guess, in their famous Pillow Talk shade, and it's a lip and cheek product. It is $40. Oh, no, there's two shades. Okay, good. They came out with at least two shades. $40, though, a lip and cheek product. Mm -hmm. But I have tried out quite a few Charlotte Tilbury products, and it seems like on the on the whole, a lot of them aren't worth the price, so I am just kind of meh. So Physicians Formula came out with a new line of these dessert bronzers, and shade-wise, it's trash. Like, Physicians Formula has always been known to have, like, shitty shade ranges, but to come out with, like, what, six bronzers and to have all of them essentially be, like, the same shade... Trash, trash. And I know, like, it took, they can do the shade range. Like, I have the Butter Collection box. They have, like, eight versions of the Butter Bronzer. And it took them years to come out with them. But that just shows that they can do it. So for any new releases, you should just come out with, like, the eight actual shades, you know, that work for a lot of people. Don't come out with the, uh, I'm just, I've had it up to here, Physicians Formula. They're, they're expensive for the drugstore. They've got a few great products, but, like, they got to work on that shade range. It's trash. Especially because they've been trying to, like, set themselves up as, like, in the drugstore, but still, like, above the drugstore, you know? Like, I get that vibe from them, but, like, clearly you're not. Like, you're, you won't be above the drugstore until you can come out with a decent shade range. Huh. Oh my god, I just saw the price on this set, and, like, you saw my reaction. Um, this is a new set of brushes from Sonia G, and it's available on Beautylish. Okay, brushes. Look at the brushes. This is the Lotus set. It has six brushes. Okay, so it's handmade, but this set is $215. I just, I'm, I can't fathom. Will these brushes do my taxes? Will these brushes install my new AC unit? Will these brushes answer my work emails? What 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 do they do for two hundred and fifteen dollars? Ooh, ooh. Well, they cook. Oh, maybe they can cook dinner for me, so I don't have to get up when I'm filming to check on the roast. Well, we all know they don't do any of that shit. Uh, that's a lot of money for brushes. And actually, I've got some amazing brushes. I think I'm at the point now where I can do an updated like brushes I use every day video. So let me know if you guys want to see that because I might just add that to my schedule. And all the brushes I use are, I think there's not a single, well, there, there's one brush that's over $30. The rest of them are under $30 each. So another ColourPop release, because of course it's another ColourPop release. Uh, this is the ColourPop and Powerpuff Girls. Are they going to run out of like late 90s, early 2000s properties to collab with? What happens then? What happens when they run out of IP to rip off? Who knows? Who knows? I have to say, uh, the palette in j overall looks actually pretty decent. The packaging is cute. I don't like the Rove Neutral shimmer and one matte on the top. I think if they had really just gone for it and done a full color palette, it would have looked beautiful. But I have to say, like, the middle row and the bottom row, those are beautiful. That's a really cute palette, and it matches the color story, which I have to say, it's not hard to come up with a color story for the Powerpuff Girls because it's built in. There's a built-in color story, <laughs> but that palette does look really nice. So Sigma is collabing with Beauty Bird on a full collection of brushes and an eyeshadow palette. To me, the eyeshadow palette just looks kind of meh. 
I mean, I think there's only been one Sigma eyeshadow palette that I've really been like was wanting to try. I think it was the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette, um, but I've still haven't picked it up. So I haven't tried any actual Sigma makeup. If you've tried Sigma makeup, let me know down below what you thought of it. Um, but as for the brushes, I do really like Sigma brushes. I have a lot of them. And I have to say this like white marbling like design with the rose gold, uh, it, I'm getting very like beauty guru from 20 like 14 2015 from this but I, I'm loving it I love this brush set I know I don't need more brushes but like I love I love those brush I love those brushes look and I know Sigma brushes are good quality or most of them are good quality so damn it there's no price here so I have no idea how much they cost but I'm, I'm tempted by the brushes so Besame Cosmetics is continuing their collab with Disney with this aerial highlight it's beautiful I mean there's no way I'm ever going to get these. They're super limited edition. They only have 500 of each one like made. But I have to say this one, there's a red lipstick and then there's that highlighter and it's beautiful. That is stunning. That is like an actual collector's piece. Do I want to know how much it cost? Ooh, it cost $125. So Makeup Revolution, or more specifically, I Heart Revolution, is coming out with a new collab with Disney and it's an Aladdin collab. Isn't this like a couple years late? Like I feel like this probably should have come out with like the Aladdin movie, the live action movie. Anyway, so it's like this booklet that opens up. You have a bunch of eyeshadows on one side and a face palette. It looks like blushes specifically on the other side. Well, zooming in, those blushes and the highlight like look really pretty. They do look similar to like the custom face palette that I've made. So I, I'm going to talk myself out of that. The eyeshadows look okay. At least they're a bit more pigmented. It's still mainly neutral, but at least there's like like a color story there, you know? Let's see. There's also a highlighter and it looks like a lip gloss. So, yeah. I'm personally, I'm just sick and tired of all the Disney collabs. It feels like every single brand, everyone's coming with Disney. I want to see something new <laughs> or a collab with something like unique, you know? I don't know, like what would get, what would excite me at this point? I think more Halloween stuff. I don't know, like the Lethal and Dead I got excited about, the Butte Bean Shroud I got excited about a while ago. <laughs> um, I don't know. I want I want fall. That's what I want. I think I'll get excited when I start seeing fall releases. Give me pumpkin spice already. So Natasha Denona is coming out with a brand new product. This is, I believe, their first liquid eyeliner pen. Uh, how much is it? $26. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I don't think I would spend that much money on a liquid liner, like a regular pen liquid liner. What I have heard amazing things about is like the individual black eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. Denona. Natasha Denona. I've heard that's amazing and you can use that as a liner, especially because I do have a mixing medium. So if anything, I would spend money on that single black shadow and not this liner. But I have to admit, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, okay, that's new for Natasha. What do you guys think? So NARS came out with a new nine pan eyeshadow palette, a liquid eye and a liquid eyeliner. Um, the nine pan eyeshadow palette, okay, it's neutral, but I like those greens and I like the swatches swatched out are giving me fall vibes. So appreciate the fall vibes there. And the liquid liner, it looks just like a brown liquid liner. Yeah. Yeah, to me, I'm just meh. I guess they're going to be permanent additions to their collection, so I guess they're trying to build up more, but yeah, it's just kind of like me. I'm sweating so hard right now. Hmm, looks like Lime Crime is expanding their Wet Cherry line with two new eyeshadow palettes. There's the Wet Cherry Sweet Mattes eyeshadow palette and the Wet Cherry Wild Metallics eyeshadow palette. The mattes, I know I have the shades in my collection. Um, the metallics, swatched out, they look really pretty. I like that green. And that gold is pretty, but I don't... See, I don't know if I would buy an all metals or all shimmer palette. Because I, I feel like I've I've got a lot of like companion, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a lot of like companion palettes already. I don't know if I would specifically reach out to like buy a separate palette now knowing it's a companion palette when I already have a huge eyeshadow palette collection that I actually have to declutter. I am planning to do a declutter fairly soon. 
So yeah, I wouldn't pick this up. Uh, so Hip Dot is coming out with another My Chemical Romance collab, which as much as I love My Chemical Romance, I heard that first collab was trash. And not only like the products were trash, but like the shipping and the ordering and everything was trash. So while I'm upset, I didn't get that palette because honestly that would just go on display back here and I would keep it forever. Kind of like the, the handbook for the recently deceased. I've got over there. Um, so while I'm sad I don't have the palette, uh, I after knowing all of that, I wouldn't go for this one. Ooh, okay. Let us bitch about this. So, Hourglass. Hourglass is coming out with eyeshadows. And, like, right out the gate, they're coming out with these eyeshadows. I, I'm, you know, I might have already bitched about this, but I'm going to do it again because these are ridiculous. So, first off, these eyeshadow pans, uh, they're a small amount of product. How much are they? I don't even see grams on here, but they look small because they did cut out a part of the pan just for the design of the actual pan itself. So you've got that, um, and then you can fill up either a single, a three pan palette, or a five pan palette. The single is $29. Natasha Denona's most expensive eyeshadow is the single black one for $29. That is ridiculous. For the three pan palette, it is $99. $99 for a three pan palette from Hourglass. And then the five pan palette is $161. That is more expensive than Pat McGrath, Natasha, Den that's the most expensive eyeshadow I think I've seen. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -mm. For a brand that is not known for eyeshadow formula, to not even come out with like a, an already made palette to like have people try and test out nope they're gonna throw out all these singles say do it yourself bitch like we don't even want to do it for you the only thing hourglass has is the audacity the absolute audacity <laughs> holy shit you i don't even think at this point you could pay me to like try these Jesus, I don't know if it's just because like i'm from jersey and i've lived here too long my first thought was just like fight me <laughs> <laughs> about to fight throw down with some my shadows <laughs> okay also what the f what the what the what is this what is this what is this so benefit collabed with crocs benefit collab with crocs to give us the shoes of a three-year-old <laughs> like like really so they, they're actually they came out with shoes okay they're pink shoes with these weird Gibbets? They're called gibbets. I've never owned a pair of Crocs in my life, so excuse me. But who, who, who's actually gonna, who's gonna wear these? Who's gonna go out in public with these on? Who's gonna do it? Anyone? Who's buying these? Is anyone buying these? No, I know no one asked for this. Pretty sure no one asked for this. So who's, who's buying these and who's gonna wear them? Hmm. That's weird. I don't even see like a makeup as part of the collab. It's just the shoes with like specific big gibbets for benefit. Just like, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just got like the mental image in my head of like everyone at the benefit headquarters like being forced to buy these shoes. <laughs> and so you see a bunch of people in like business casual and then you look down and these have the shoes they're wearing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god that's that's too stupid Ooh, wet and wild is coming out with some new products and it looks like some nine pan palettes that could give color pop a run for their money hmm okay so they're coming out with some new setting sprays as well i see a nine pan palette that's yellow and it has honey in the title i see a cherry palette a cocoa palette and a purpley gold palette Huh. I would, I would honestly, if I saw those palettes in the store, I'd pick them up. Because I know Wet n Wild, the downside is that they're very hit or miss with their eyeshadow. Some of them are fantastic. I have some Wet n Wild palettes that I love. But then when they're bad, they're bad. So it's really a toss up which one you're going to get. So I'd be willing to try these out. So this looks absolutely ridiculous. This is from Hermes. Hermes. I, I, See, I read The Devil Wears Prada, and it taught me how to pronounce this brand, and I, I forgot. Anyway, um, so there's a new highlighter coming out from Her Hermes. We'll call it Hermes. Um, and I gotta say, the, yeah, the imprint looks beautiful, but, like, the shade of the highlighter, like, 
pretty sure I have that shade, right? Um, there's no price on this, so I can't even like give you a full. Let me Google it. Is there? Let's see. Can I find it? No. So on their website right now, all they have are like lipsticks and uh, like blushes. Let's see. How much is a lipstick? Seventy-two dollars. Okay. If the lipstick is seventy-two, I'm gonna say this highlighter is at least a hundred, if not like a hundred and twenty. So, meh. No, thank you. So I think I talked about these. Uh, ABH is coming out with cream uh, bronzers. Cream bronzers are $35, and they also have the cream blush sticks, as well as some cream highlighter sticks. Not interested in the highlighters or the blushes, really. I was actually looking at the cream bronzers. I placed a Sephora order not too long ago, and I almost picked one of these up. But then I was like, you know what? If I want a cream bronzer, I also wanted to try the e.l.f. putty bronzer. So knowing I'm probably going to pick up that e.l.f. one, I didn't want to pick this one up, too. So, yeah. Also, the shade range looks a bit... I don't know. The, some of those shades are pulling very orange in the pictures in the swatches that I've seen. Ah, oh, I don't know about this. Hmm, okay. Chanel. Chanel is coming out with a new... It's okay. Again, I'm going to butcher this French. Le, Le Bijou Jou de Blush. Yeah, you know what? I did not take French. Um, so they're coming out with liquid blushes. And they look hella, hella, hella uh, sheer. But they also have like the little, I don't know. Oh my god, it looks it looks strange. Hmm. They're not gonna come out until September. But hmm, I'm kinda I'm kinda curious. What do you guys think? So I don't know like enough about skincare to like I think give a, a like an actual educated opinion on this. But Ula Henriksen is coming out with a new 20% acid night treatment, and just 20% seems like a lot, right? It just, it seems like a lot. I don't know if this is something, uh, da, 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 brand's most potent serum to date, exfoliates skin to reveal significantly visibly smoother, renewed, and brighter complexion. Smooth skin texture, firms, improves elasticity, and targets the look of dark spots, pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. It's $55. Mm, I don't know. I feel like that would, like, make my skin melt off. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you ever used anything with higher than, like, I don't think I've seen anything personally with higher than like 10%. So makeup eraser is coming out with another seven day set. So this is a set of like seven mini makeup erasers. I currently have this in my bathroom, not the mushroom one. It was just the orange, I think it was the peach one. This is really cute. They're the perfect size for you to use at night to take off most of your makeup. I use these whenever I use a cleansing balm to take off my face makeup. I don't use them for my eye makeup because I wear a lot of eye makeup. But this is really cute. I think they're worth the price and I like the little sets that they have. So I would say if you're looking to like switch from say uh, makeup wipes or if you're finding or if you can't find a um, cleansing balm that works that well for you, this is such a really good set. Okay, so this was kind of surprising to me because I saw this and I first thought this is just an old product that they were kind of remarketing, but no, this is a brand new product. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3 Mini. Now the Naked 3, I'm pretty sure it came out in like 2015 or 2016. So they came out with a mini like six, five or six years after the original. That's a bit lot. I will say, I don't want to trash the Naked 3, because I actually really like that palette. And the reason I just don't have it in my collection is because I lent it to my grandma to use, and then, like, she took it from me. Like, she just liked it, and she was using it. <laughs> so I, I never went out and rebought it. But honestly, like, I liked the tones in that palette. I think Naked 2 and Naked 3 are my favorite Urban Decay palettes. Like, I still have the Naked 2. But I don't know if I need this mini. Honestly, I liked the full-size palette. It just seems odd to me that they waited this long to come out with a mini. All right, and I think we are going to leave it there for today, and uh, I am melting. So let's go ahead and wrap this up so I can put my air conditioning back on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, let me know down below what you thought of all these new releases, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.